Hello, my name is Christian Williams. The date is October 1st of 2021. Uh, this is for the Circ 02C attempt. Uh, so for this program, uh, we were encouraged to um, practice with loops and arrays to make a series of LEDs light up in particular sequences. Uh, so first we'll go over the source code a little bit in detail. So the program had us copy and paste a variety of codes. So you can kind of see at the top here, I just kind of wrote a note that even though the source code itself contains a lot of information and a lot of different codes and loops, uh, it's only actually running one at the moment. Um, so basically this becomes sort of a reference document for how each of these commands could be set up and programmed to do various things with our line of LEDs. So first off, I'll kind of explain what our array here. So this int LED pins uh, these two brackets here, tell the computer that each of these variables here are, we're doing basically the same thing to them. So in this case, LED zero is connected to pin two because, uh, and then LED one to pin three and so on. And that's just because pin zero and one have special functions on the Arduino board itself, uh, which is why it says pin two and so on. And then since we defined all the way up to 9, we have that final LED pin of 7 would equal 9. Then down here at the setup, uh, we did something a little interesting as well. Basically, instead of writing out each pin mode for, uh, for each LED, we just assigned that the variable i and then told it that as long as it do i doesn't exceed 9, because we only have 8 LEDs, uh, it will assign... Uh, each LED to output. So in this case we have uh, eight LED pins, so each time this program runs continuously on a loop it will set each of those eight LEDs to output. Scrolling down a little bit more, this is what it would look like if we didn't do that. So with two lines of code up here, for int and then pin mode with i, if I didn't do that I would have to type out every single one of these lines. So it's a more efficient way of assigning uh, each of our variables here. Uh, and then down here, we're doing a one after another no loop. Uh, in future projects, uh, we could remove this comment line and it would do various things, and that's explained later in the program. But you can see that because we're not using loops in this program, we had to handwrite each digital write uh, for each pin. Uh, some of the other programs uh, will use a loop, in which case we don't have to do that, but as you can see, one after another, no loop. Um, we have to kind of do things longhand. So that's as far as I'll explain about the source code uh, for here, and uh, I'll explain a little bit more in um, attempts B and A. But for now, let's go onto the Adreno board. So we go out, and it's down here. So, to give us a little bit more idea of what we're doing wiring-wise, uh, we have, you can see our eight LEDs are turning all the way on and then turning all the way off in sequence. Uh, you can see the resistors down here. Ignore that blue resistor for now. Uh, one of my cats decided that she was interested in Arduino boards and wiring and knocked a bunch of stuff off my desk. And as a result, I could not find the eighth a resistor that matches these ones in my kit. So after talking with the professor, I just installed that one. Uh, that's really it. There's no significance for doing the last one. It actually should be one of these if we're following the letter exactly. Then you see each of our four wires are connected to the various pins. I just kind of group them in groups of four because one of the programs will have it start from the middle. And I felt that would be a little easier for me to interpret what was going on. So you kind of see that's what I'm talking about. Pin 0 and 1 having dedicated functions. So we have pin 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 all the way up there. Um, and then, of course, we have our uh, power connected, which our uh, Arduino will turn the USB connection into a 5-fold pattern. So yeah, that is our board and code. Uh, attempt B will be going over how to convert all of this mess on my screen here into a loop so I only have to type a few lines of code as opposed to all of that nonsense mm. but it's a good place to start 
Um, so I that ends attempt C for circ 2 and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day.